love. Subhanallah, it's an unending discussion that you find in the book of Allah Azza wa Jal. It is one of the greatest, highest aims of our ubudiyah, our enslavement and showing Allah that we are true worshippers of Him. To be loving of God invites you and I to also show that love to those who are nearest amongst us. Sometimes love, of course, can be a very toxic thing, a very negative thing, if it is not intent through the prism of the Sharia, through the uh, laneway that Allah has set for us. And therefore, Allah speaks about love in the Quran as being something that can be incredibly positive, but it can also be something that is incredibly negative. In Surah Al-Baqarah, verse 160, Allah speaks about two types of love. And He said that there are those who love certain things. They covet and they have a worshipping love of certain beings, certain things, certain material objects. Some people they love money, some people they love family, some people they love themselves. Some people, they love their pride and their culture and their ethnicity or their color. They put it at such a high degree and pedestal that it is at times something that is almost as if it is an element of worship. <laughs> that they love it to a place that only should be reserved for Allah in that to total unconditional love. <laughs> but the positive love, those who have true love for God, those who are true believers, are those who love Allah, ashaddu hubban lillah. They have a greater commitment in their love to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The word hub is a powerful image, not just word or language, it's an image that is used. You know, the love that a person commits is meant to be enacted, practiced, shown. And therefore, when you say you have a love for Allah, what Allah returns you to is the practice of the faith. So Allah tells us in Surah Ali Imran, قُلْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّوا الله. If you truly make a claim that you are beloving and beloved and beloved and lovers of Allah, فَاتَّبِعُونِي Follow my tradition, follow my example, follow my lifestyle, follow the mercy that was sent to me. يُحِبُّكُمُ الله. يح, uh, الله Your Lord will then love you. وَيَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ and you will receive his forgiveness. The first step of tazkiyah, of course, always begins internally. To cleanse oneself, purify oneself, it must be an inward and outward expression. It begins with an intent and sincerity in the heart that you love for the sake of Allah and that you restrict that love because it is commanded by you by Allah. I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows us to love the things that we love because of God and to hold us at bay from our cravings and desires of what Allah has prohibited. I leave you with the dua of love, the dua of Prophet Dawood that was then made by our Prophet Muhammad alayhim as salam sallallahu alayhi wa alayhim wa sallim ajma'in ya arham ar rahimin Allahumma inni as'aluka hubbak. Oh Allah, I ask you for your love. Wa hubba man yuhibbuk and the love of those who love you. And the love of the deeds that will bring me closer to your love, O oh Allah. Allahumma ameen.